Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I am going to show you how you can create a stylized character head in Blender. If you want to see more videos like this, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Enjoy the video. First we will look for a reference image. If you are a beginner, I suggest you find an image with front view and side view. The best site to find reference image is Pinterest. Go to pinterest.com and search for stylized character turnaround image. For this video, I am going to use the stylized Batman character made by an amazing artist Julian, on his art station. The link for the image is in the description below. Open Blender and delete everything. Make sure you are at the front view by pressing 1 and then go to your reference image and drag it into Blender. Place the reference image exactly at the center. Go to Data Property and enable Opacity. Then switch the depth to back and disable perspective. Adjust the position of the reference so that we can sculpt only one side using symmetry. Then go to top view by pressing 7, and press Shift E to duplicate the image then immediately press the right click to avoid any position change to the image, and then rotate it minus 90 degree then once again adjust the position from top and front view. Then select both images and press M to make a new collection, then name it ref and disable selection, so we can not select it accidentally. Finally click the other collection to make it active, so when we add an object it goes inside this collection. Add a sphere and position it along Y and Z axis carefully without changing the X axis position. And then go to sculpt mode, do not forget to turn on the symmetry on the X axis. Then using the grab brush, trace over the reference image. Do not worry about the nose, ear and eyelid for now, we will add another mesh to form them later. Do not forget to go back and forth between front and side view. Add a sphere and scale it to fit in the nose part, and again using the grab brush align it with the reference image. You can change the object you are sculpting on by pressing D, when your cursor is on the object you want to sculpt on. Then add a cylinder adjust the scale and position it on the neck. Then press Ctrl A and apply the scale and the add a sphere to fill up the shoulder and upper chest. Then join them by selecting both and pressing Ctrl plus J, pressing Shift plus R, and select the voxel size, which determine the amount of vertex, lower value gives you higher number of vertex. Then press Ctrl plus R to remesh it. Till now we were only using grab brush because we didn't have enough vertex to sculpt on, but from now we are going to use another brush like clay strips, crease and draw brush.
Now add a cylinder, scale and position it properly to fit in on the ear area. Look from every view in order to be sure that it is on the right place. Add a mirror modifier to the cylinder and select the head as a mirror object. Remesh the head so that we can sculpt more details. Now we can join the head and the nose and then remesh it. Add a sphere, scale and place it on the eye area. Add 
add a mirror modifier and select the head as a mirror object. Press Shift D to duplicate it and hide it, we are going to use it as an eyeball later. Go to edit mode on the first sphere and bevel the middle edge loop by three segments and then delete the middle face. Then separate the upper and lower sphere and rotate them to make an eyelid. Add a solidify modifier to both of the eyelids. And then unhide the other sphere and add a material to see how the eye looks. Change the colors on the viewport and roughness to add a little highlights. Adjust the curvature of the eyelids based on the reference image. Add a plane then merge it at the center enable a snap, check the face option and project individual elements. Then trace over the eyebrows from the front and side views. There may be a little difference but try to balance it out. Then add a mirror modifier, subdivision modifier, shrink wrap modifier and finally solidify modifier in that order. For the eyebrows, duplicate the upper eyelid and delete every face except the lower parts then add mirror and solidify modifiers. For the hair, add a sphere and scale it and place it carefully and again trace it over the reference image. Remesh the hair so that we can add more details.
Thank you for watching. Make sure you watch part 2.